and even as the Gujarat Congress has been stung by cross-voting by 11 of its MLAs in the presidential elections, a much bigger challenge awaits the party today when its senior most leader Shankar Singh Vaghela attends a felicitation event which is being billed as a show of strength on his 77th birthday. The senior leader is expected to make an important announcement on his future course of action with speculation drive that he could part ways with the party. Supporters of Vaghela have organized a felicitation. However, some of the senior leaders of the Congress in Gujarat have said they have asked their MLAs to stay away. देखिए कोई सामाजिक स्वरूप से अपनी जन्मदिन की लिए कोई उत्सव कर रहा है तो वो खुशी की बात है और हमारी भी शुभकामनाएं हैं लेकिन अगर वो सम्मेलन को राजनीतिक स्वरूप दिया जाए तो मुझे लगता है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी इसका समर्थन नहीं करती and rohit ban now joins us from ahmedabad for the very latest on this rohit uh, trouble more trouble in fact for gujarat congress ahead of the assembly elections and shankar singh vaghela is one person who said that his demands have gone unheard many times and seems to be quite disgruntled uh, in general That's right. In fact, he hinted at this uh, last month when he held a meeting with his uh, supporters, where he carried a frontal attack on the Congress Party. And now today, the Gujarat Congress are waiting uh, the outcome of this uh, uh, meeting, which will happen in uh, Gandhi Nagar. Uh, the meeting of his supporters to felicitate him on his 77th uh, birthday. Uh, the, the big question is: Will Shankar Singh Baghela quit the Congress Party after several years uh, uh, being part of the, the, the system? That's something that uh, remains to be seen. and it will come if at all he resigns uh, whether he forms a third front whether he joins the bjp and now these are something which have been uh, going on speculations on this have been going on for long but yes for the congress it's going to be a huge huge setback uh, because we have just some months left for the gujarat assembly election and that's why uh, the congress is uh, uh, anxiously waiting for this uh, event uh, to get over in fact we heard uh, the gujarat congress chief bharat singh solanki in fact in his sound bite maintaining that they have no issues with the meeting as long as it remains non political but if any political statements are made then action would be taken so we had uh, last month when he had attended a meeting of his supporters he had carried out a frontal attack on the congress party now today we expecting there are speculations that he might go to the extent of actually announcing his resignation from the party and if that happens that will be a big blow to the congress party uh, the uh, shankar singh vaghela right. continues to be a very senior most leader of the party he knows uh, the, the gujarat political system in and out and that is why this meeting becomes very important and the likely announcement but he is expected to make right rohit and this would certainly also once again arrive at the doorstep of uh, congress vice president rahul gandhi because we know that uh, mr vaghela has tried to reach out to rahul gandhi in many ways um, also of course uh, would put a question mark in some ways uh, at the political future uh, for ahmed patel That's right. In fact, uh, ne next month, that's the eighth of August. Elections are due to three uh, Rajya Sabha seats, including the one held by Mr. Ahmed uh, Patel. Now, if you remember, yesterday there has been uh, cross voting by the Congress MLAs in the presidential election. At least eleven of them have cross voted against uh, the parties. Now there is concern emerging within the party uh, that what happens to the Rajya Sabha election if there are uh, cross votings, if there are uh, banners of uh, dissension being raised by the party MLAs. What happens to those elections? And it is going to be a huge challenge. challenge and huge embarrassment if there are further uh, cross votings uh, when it comes to the rajya sabha elections though uh, the party president yesterday when we spoke to him he said uh, that you know uh, the rajya sabha elections are more transparent there's a whip issued so clearly he would not expect uh, that to happen but yes there are concerns on uh, the rajya sabha elections which are coming up uh, next month on what happens to the party if there is a split today if uh, shankar singh vaghela announces his resignation and if uh, some mlas cross over or leave the congress party what happens uh, to those elections and also to the fate of the congress party as we uh, head towards uh, the all important gujarat important gujarat assembly elections